Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about arrays, focusing specifically on lower and upper bounds and array slicing. So, well, what is an array? Now an array is a collection of elements and they all have to be of the same data type. So if you look at it here, we've got one, two, three, four, five elements here and they're all the same data type because uh, they all contain alphanumerical values. So those are strings. There you go. So we've got one, two, three, three, four, five strings. Now each item in that array has an index attached to it. And depending on the language that you use, that indexing might start at zero or it might start at one. Or actually, in some languages, uh, you can actually start it at any number you want to. Now, Python, we start indexing at zero. So the first item in the list, uh, with item zero, is dog. And the, uh, for instance, the one, two, three, fourth item in this array here is chicken. So each item can be accessed via that number. And that number is known as its index. Now, there's two ways you can access it. You can either access it via its number. So you can say, OK, what's at index number four, which would return zero, one, two, three, four, hamster. Or you could do, in most languages, you can do a search. So you might do like myarray.find, if this array is called myarray. Uh, and then you specify, look, I'm looking for the, uh, the word cat. Uh, it would return one because cat is at index position one. So that's uh, arrays. Now what about lower and upper bounds? Well, uh, lower and upper bounds, oops, I've already done that one, there we go, lower and upper bounds. The lower bound, the lowest possible index in an array, which would be the one on the left hand side, is known as the lower bound. So in Python here, in this example, um, Python starts indexing at zero, so the lower pos lowest possible bound is always zero. And in Python, the highest possible bound is always um, the index of the last element in the list. So here, uh, this array has uh, one, two, three, four, five items. So uh, obviously we start counting at zero. So five minus one is four. So the lower bound would be zero and the highest bound, the higher bound would be so the upper bound is four. There we go. There we go. Now, if it was uh, a different language and they started indexing at one, then you just move it along one. So the lowest possible bound here for this would be one there, and the highest possible bound would be five. But Python and most languages start at zero. And again, if you had a particular language where the indexing started at four or 10 or 200, then again, all you do is just count your way along looking at how many possible items there are. And therefore, you can calculate the uh, upper bound. So that's the lower and the upper bound. Array slicing. Uh, now, in Python, this confuses people quite a lot because they don't really understand how it works. But really, it's actually quite simple. All you've got to remember is that array slicing starts at um, each item in the uh, in the array or the list as Python uses. Uh, it starts counting from the left-hand side, kind of the left boundary of that item. So actually, item zero isn't item zero. It's the, when you go say get me item zero, you say get me the first item after zero. So what you can do here in Python is you can slice it. So if you do something along the, uh, along the lines of, okay, get me a slice of uh, one to three. Well, we start at one, we finish at three, and we're gonna return all the items between one and three. If we were to say start at two and finish at five, even though there isn't an index five available if you were to do um, just a single item, the index five does actually come into play. It does work in Python. So two to five would get you these three items there. So let me just hop over into Python and give you a couple of examples to show how that actually works.
So here is my array in Python. There we go. It's actually a list. Python uses lists rather than arrays, um, but it doesn't matter. It still works the same. So let's say we wanted to get um, cat, mouse, chicken. Well, how could we do that? Well, all we need to do is we say, okay, we want to start counting here from here, the left of there, through to the right of chicken. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you do, okay, 1 to 4. There we go. And it will get me everything between item 1 and 4, which is cat, mouse, and chicken. There you go. What if we wanted to get all of the items after cat? So we wanted to get mouse, chicken, and hamster. Well, we could do a similar thing. We could change that to 2, and we could do that 2, 5. And that would get us cat, chicken, hamster, because that's going to get all of those three there. There you go. Notice you can't, there is no fifth element in the array, um, because there's nothing after. Here's index 5 there. There's nothing after that index 5. So if I try and do that, it's going to come up and it's going to complain that that list index is out of range. Um, so we could do that. We could do the 2 to 5 to get all of the items from position 1, as we 0, 1, 2 onwards. Or we could actually just cheat and just do it like that. And that'll say, okay, get me everything from 2 onwards. There you go. Perfect. What if we wanted to get all of the items from the, let's say we wanted to get everything from the second item, the list, uh, all the way through to the one from the end of the list. So not the last item and not the first item. How could we do that? Well, in Python, we say, okay, we get from uh, array index one, which is the second item, item number two. And then we also need to come back from the end here. We need to do everything back right from the end there. So what we do here is we do minus two, I think would do it. Let's have a look. Oops, no, I thought it was one, minus one, sorry. Going a bit mad. So what we do here is we say get everything from number one. There you go. All the way through to minus one, which is one minus from the end. So we start counting backwards. I went a bit crazy there. So that would be zero uh, all the way to the end, which would be, well, it wouldn't be zero because it'd be five or just leave it. But to, to, to do negative indexing backwards from the end, we just use the minus one. So that would be minus one would end there, minus two would end here. And that's really good if you don't know how many items you've got in the array, but you just want to chop off the end or chop off a bit of the start um, or, or both. There you go. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, if there's any questions or any comments, just pop them in the comments. And if you like the channel, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.